that's bolded on this page? Uh, the bolded is uh, Mukashi. Perfect. Um, do you can you read this word for me? Uh, this one is Haruka. Perfect. And this is a adverb and is a time phrase. It means far away. So it can be used for like long ago, for example, Haruka. Um, so it doesn't have to be a time phrase. It could be a location, but in the next context is a time phrase to modify how long ago something was. Um, let's go read this sentence. Peredo, sore wa haruka mukashi no koto. Keredo, keredo, sore wa. Keredo is however. Sore wa, that. Haruka mukashi no koto. That what, that is a thing. That is long ago. Hi. The house being all nice and fancy was a thing from long ago. Um, do you remember how to read this word? It's red. Showman gang gun. Perfect. How about side? This red. Waki o. And scenery? This red. Ke iro. Good guess. This does start with um ke. But iro is actually the unmarried reading of this kanji. When it's read, when it's married, it's actually um shoku. Um keshoku, that sounds weird. Yeah. Ke shoku. Um I don't know how it's pronounced. It ends with shoku. What is that? Uh, it's when you don't have it in your brain. What is you type key model. I know I I did ke and ki and did their work. I know it ends with shoku. Um, do do do. Gonna quickly it's write it. Ke so it's ke. Oh, then... ke shoku. Maybe pop up either. Huh. No, you're right. It's a short ke. Hmm. Just a ke with no e. It's shiki, not shoku. Shiki. Ke yeah, shiki. Ke shiki. <laughs> Oh, shiki. Why do I think shoku? That oh, I think that's shiroi, right? Shiroi, shiroi turns into shoku. Shoku. Maybe I don't know. But yeah, keshiki, keshiki. Whoops, whoops. Both of us nice ten points for us. Hi. <laughs> keshiki. And uh, what does nagameru mean? Nagarameta. Nagarameta. Oh, to look at. Perfect. Hey, and what is? What a, yeah. What is to stare again, Mani? It's also naga something. To stare is mi, um, mitsumeru. Naga meru means to gaze at something. So but you probably when, put it in your head as the same glare, thing. When nobody glares at Khan as if to Hi. turn him into a frog, that verb was. Niramu. Niramu. Hi, niramu. This one is naga. Is to glare. Nagameru, nagameru is to gaze. So nagameru basically kind of insinuates you're staring at something, but you're not focusing your eyes on a specific area. So you can gaze at scenery, for example. You're not looking at a tree, you're looking at the whole thing. Um, we saw nagameru earlier when the main character was gazing at a table rather than looking at nebudi. The idea is that you're not necessarily totally focusing your eyes on a specific object, is what gazing means in English as well. I gaze at the view versus mitsumeru is actually to look at something. So that would be staring directly at an object. Hi. Mitsumeru. Nagameru. And then ni, ni meru. Ni ra. Niramu. That one is really messing me up. Really Niramu. does. Um, do you know what a kumo is with this kanji? It's cloud. It is cloud. Perfect. So this is the kanji for cloud. Kumo has a little rain right there, which is nice. Um, I... do you know what this how to read this? Hmm. Uh something I Land, legs, so 
Uh, oh, this, this is the first, first part is ro. Rochi. Hi, Rochi. Ro ro the what is alleys. That mean? Alley, so all the alleys. Perfect. All alleys. Can you read this for me? Um, Kuruma ku, higu, kugu, kumo, 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 kumo for cloud. So kumo is cloud. You add a ru to it, and that turns into a verb. Um, kind of like cloudy, which in English is an adjective. But in Japanese, this is a verb. If something is cloudy, it's kumoru. Um, so this could literally be used to refer to the weather or um, like if you have a crystal ball and it becomes cloudy, that would also be kumoru. So just like in English, it's all the versions of cloudy. Cloudy, kumoru. Hi. Can you wait one second? One second. I uh, actually that's yeah, fine. You slide show. Um. So Susu Watari are the name of these characters from a studio from two different Studio Ghibli movies. These are Susu Watari. Watari means um to cross, like to walk across somewhere, and Susu means soot. So in English, these are called soot sprites. I don't know if you've seen Ghibli movies, but I thought mm. this would be something to point a out. Suit to to cross a suit cross. Yes, susu watari. In our book, we're going to be seeing this word. What is, can you read it for me? Susu. What does that mean? A suit, like the the the, the dirt hi, hi, that comes from the the cold fireplace. The hi hi hi. Um, um what is the ta form of cloudy? So we have kumo and kumota. Hey, kumota. A nice little glottal stop. Um can you read this for me? We got a nice little compound verb, noun, compound noun. It actually stops there. Okori mo ma mirete. So okay. it's hokori mamire. Uh, the de here is um te form for nouns. So I probably should not have bolded that. It's not a verb. It's two nouns. Hai, so hokori, hokori mamire. mamire. Yeah. Hokori. Come from hokoru. Maybe. It's a uh, two nouns. Hokori plus but mamire do um is a verb. Um but uh Hokori is a noun. Hokori, mamire. I don't Hi. know this one, one. Hi. So this is describing a mon, a gate that was rusted and had spider webs stuck on it. Because not only was this gate rusted and it's covered in cobwebs, it was also covered in dust. Hokori means dust. Do you know what this mamire means? Hokori mamire. What's the kanji for it? Mamire. Close up in nudu. To be smeared with? Yes, smeared. Yep, this is. Nudu is to smear, so mamire do is to be smeared. So it is to be smeared with dust, but it's a so covered in dust. In other words, kori mamire. Kori mamire. Hi. Can you read this noun for me? Susu mamire. Any idea what this might mean? To be spread, to be smeared with soot. Exactly. So sumi mami that to be smeared with soot. Perfect. Um, can you read this for me? 
PB whatever. Hi, so this is to develop a crack. PB wadidu. And it is a do verb. What is the stem form of PB wadidu? PB ware. Perfect. Okay, so let's go. Oh, wait, do you remember how to read this word? Uh, kado. Good guess. Um, kado is corner. Um, but this does sound similar to that word. Do you have a second guess how to read it? Um, mado. Perfect. Mado window. Nice. So let's go read the sentence. Ima no yashiki wa. And shiki can also mean color. Shiki. Uh, same pronunciation as color, but this shiki means to cover. Right. Cover. Right. Imano the room right now, all the windows, Mado Toyu Madoga, Ibire, Ibiware, develop cracks. Hi, all the windows are cracked. What does Yashiki mean? Yashiki is the room. Room oh, is Heya. Hey, hey, yeah. It's it's a mansion. Perfect. It's the estate grounds, the mansion. Perfect. Yes, estate. Uh kumote ite. It's it's it um clouded, cloudy. Right. Perfect. Usu mamire no ishi no yama no yoda. It it's it, um it's like a mountain of rocks that are smeared with soot. Perfect. What does niramu mean? Niramu is to glare. Perfect. Can you read this word for me? Basho. Perfect. Place. How about this word? Um... Starts with kaku from kakusu. Kakushi, and then this is a, a sliding door. To. So um, mm -hmm. this has some more sounds to it. It's tobira. To. Bira. Tobira. Which um. It's kind it it's it doesn't have to be a sliding door, I don't think. Um, but it it does tend to insinuate a Japanese door versus doa um tends to insinuate a American style door. But um you're right that there is a word for door that I that is right here, that is tol, which looks like this. So this one might be specifically sliding door I'm um, definitely possible but yeah this is a hidden door which in this context was found by sliding something um, um so the, the point here is the haza do you know what haza means when it's like at the end of a sentence like this it's out oh no no it mean it must be Hazu, it must be something. Hey, hazu, must be, should be. Perfect. How about dekai? Large. Perfect. Um, so let's go read this sentence. Hmm. Genkan Tobira ga atta hazu no basho wa.
屋敷のまんちゅうにでっかい石をどうすんと落としたみたいだみたいにぽっかりと入っている。So, you would assume that this is Manchu. That is a totally logic assumption to make, but it should actually be pronounced as Mannaka, I believe.、Um, Manchu sounds disgusting.、Um, yep, it is Mannaka. It would have been easier if it gave us kanji, because Mannaka,、hey. um, it's ma from completely, and then there's an、mm、in the middle. So, it'd be odd for them to be with the red meanings, just like a ma. Shiro, because it has that little gravel stop. So the n here doesn't actually have a kanji to go over. So it counts. So you wouldn't normally give this to a marriage reading. But without that context, it'd be make sense to assume, oh, they just gave us one kanji and the second kanji is like hard or something. Because、um, they do, different books do do that. I've seen that in Japanese, where they'll give you just the one kanji because they think、um, the first one's too hard for the reader. Which is very hard to read. But yeah, manaka, which means totally, completely middle. So, what's going on here?、Um, uh, it says that the place, the basho,、right. that is atau hazu no, the basho, the place that should exist at the At the door. Hmm, the look、genka. at the particle. Ga. The door of the Genkan、hmm. exists. Has it? At the Hazu no Basho wa. It's, it, it's, I can't do this.、Uh, it should exist at the place. Yes, exactly. The place where a door should have existed. Place that should have had a door. What is there instead? Our verb is aiteiru. Aiteiru meaning to exist.、Mm, to that、open. is aru. Yes, aiteiru is open. Hi. To be open. So the area、oh. that should have a door is open in what kind of way? Pukarito. Pukarito. Pukari is a pop. Kind of. It's using like a gaping wide kind of idea. So we saw this earlier used with the kakushi to tobira, saying that the entrance was pokari as well, I believe.、Um, it just kind of means there's nothing in the hole.、Um, then we have mitaini, ending with mitaini. ni, telling us what? Describing. Verb, which in so, this so, case is aita. 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 So it's open like what? Open like o open like a. The guy is yo otoshita. Um, otoshita. Um, something fall. Hi, what do you think fell?、Uh, you know, Mark would fall. So, onto the yaka no, the yashiki no manaka ni, into the, onto the middle、Hi. of the mansion, a rock. The kai ishi, a large rock, um, dos dosunto is a sound effect. Hi, and it is probably the easier sound、Crack. effect, I guess. Hi, dosun dosunto, that's the sound, dosun, and then it crash and fall. Otoshita mitai, it seems like. Hi, where did it fall? Like a rock. Like a rock that f a l l into the middle of the mansions. Hi, that's how open the location、I'm、where there should have been a door, but there's no door. But I'm confused. 
because the action that why is the ishi o? I feel like it should be ishi ga, but then so the verb otosu mm -hmm. is not um ochita. It's a different verb. Otosu means to drop. So it says like someone, so someone drop. dropped a huge rock in the middle. So somebody is doing this, um, which is like you're right. It's a little bit odd. You think you'd use ga here. You'd use a different verb here and say like a rock fell on it. But instead, it says someone dropped a rock on it. Um, I believe um, the that um, they are kind of saying like maybe a titan did it as like a metaphor later in the book perhaps but uh it's, or maybe a magician dropped the big ass rock um in the middle of the ancient but yeah it is interesting to do the make it that there's someone did the action who's not mentioned in the sentence hi 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 um so hi. since you asked about um one kyoku and magaru i um googled it and one kyoku is very specifically just like this kind of bowing um curve while magaru can be um any kind of curve it doesn't it doesn't really matter what kind of curve you're doing so example we've seen like a curve like this in a hallway count as magaru but you couldn't use one kyoku here because this is like a right angle right that's like too aggressive of a curve but one kyoku is that circular co curve this is Magaru is any curve you'd like. I'll get you thumbs up. So you can use Magaru for one kyoku, but you can't necessarily use one kyoku suru with Magaru. Um, I, so yeah, this just makes it, it more like... obvious the rock. I mean the river bend like this. It seems like whatever Neburi did, it basically blew up his mansion. Oh, absolutely. Look at that. Pokkari. <laughs> Any guesses what he what he used to do it based off of the letter we've received from the Duchess? He summoned a rock from outer space into his mansion. Oh, that is a good <laughs> guess by this sentence. But there's actually he it's did. not a rock here. It was fireworks. Whenever the lady was <laughs> like, you know, just letting you know, um, using magical experience as fireworks is still illegal. That's why we kicked you out last time. <laughs> so he blew up his house. And then got X. <laughs> Poor Nevery. His house is blown up. Now he has to go leave town. Poor, poor, poor Nebody. Um, and that is where we're going to stop for the day. Um, Hi. any questions before we go?